so hello guys today I'll show you how to scroll on page on your WordPress one page scrolling you can call it as one page scrolling or on page scrolling so here is my WordPress website so when you click on subjects you can see here my navigation menu is redirecting it is auto re auto navigating it to this particular content so how it is being done so for that you need to have a little bit knowledge of page builder so for now here one you need to log in to your wordpress website okay once you log into your wordpress website go to uh, dash dashboard okay so i'll show you from the starting okay so when you log into your wordpress website you'll be having this kind of uh, layout right go to your website name below that click on visit website so here we will be having this kind of visualization so click on page builder here now here there is nothing we need to worry about so whenever you want to redirect redirect or auto scroll your content when you click on the menu items so there is some small mechanism you need to do there is nothing a plugin you need to install or any uh, css or html code you need to have so here now what's happening here is that when i click on this subjects when i click on this subject it is automatically going to this content here so some, there is something mechanism with this content and the subjects here right so for that what you need to do is that first we will set that mechanism so click on you can see here click on the row settings so when you place your when you open your website in page builder click on this uh, you can see there is some highlights of this content and the tab here right so this is the main this is the main tab and this is the inner tab click on the main tab on settings row settings so go to advanced here I have set an ID here something like subject ID you can give your unique name which should start with a small letter here so place some uh, name here and save it don't forget to save it give some unique name and save it here so here now we have uh, some ID here now we have given some app uh, particular ID to this row no this is a row right for this row I have given an ID so simply copy this ID now okay copy this ID you have given this some name you can give any name you wanted just copy this ID save it okay now once you save it I I recommend you guys to publish the changes before you exist this page builder before you exit the page builder I want you to save the changes click on done publish changes okay now the changes are published perfectly now go to customer not customers go to, to your website click on dashboard here I have done I have done a small thing you need to be a little bit careful here on you go once you go to dashboard click on appearance click on menus okay here see home subjects register and login see for login at the here you can see custom link for subjects you can see custom link so this is so this this subjects and logins uh, the subject and login are the custom links I have created from here so go to custom link you have to paste now something this is my website name right copy the uh, copy your website name paste it here and uh, you, you have a slash here right so on the slash if you go down here here I think you might be remem remembering or not we have placed we have given name to this as subject ID right so the same name I have given here we have to for we have to give the name using slash sub 
j e c t i d okay and give it any name here something kin okay add it to menu now here you can see a uh, kin now save it to menu click on your uh, now view your website so whenever you click on the kin also it will be redirect to this page only so it is not that uh, i think it is not that you have to uh, now this is redirecting only to this page so now i will make our page to go to this contact okay just wait a second we will we'll open this in page builder okay we'll open this in page builder and uh, when we click on kin it should redirect to contact page okay now here is our contact page for we have to see now this both are in one content we have to check this both are in which content this both are in this content okay so click on this row setting advanced setting so here it is by default some name you can give it any name con tvacd contact id and save it so don't forget to publish the changes okay publish changes now see now in this scan click on this now what we have given ID there is CON TVACT contact ID save to main okay now go to visit website so when I click on can just now it was it, it redirects us to this this pay, this content right now it will redirect to the con contact content when I click on the can got it so i hope you understand guys thanks for watching please subscribe